Hey everybody, I'm here with Taylor, Peggy, and Paige at the International Builder Show. We got what happened here? We got two awards. Yes. Paige, yes. congratulations. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. <laughs> okay, let's, talk. let's break it down okay. step by step. What is this about? What did you win? What did you do different? Okay, this is Lifestyle Program of the Year, Best Lifestyle Program, and Lifestyle Director of the Year. And what I do differently, if you look at all the neighborhoods, anybody can plan an event, um, but it's really about creating a culture of community and doing life together and creating those memories and those relationships with people, and, and that's what I do. I, I get into people's lives, and um, I, I'm a part of the process. I mean, so, it's just an event. So you, but basically, it's not just an event, but you do plan events. Yes, I did 300, over 300 last year. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, so. let's get some advice because people don't know what they're doing out there. So what would be like... We don't want to give away all of our secrets either. <laughs> you have to because that's why we're here. Tell me one or two things that you did different. It's about people. It is plain and simple. It's I go to coffee with a widow. I connect them with other widows in the neighborhood. I go to basketball games. I go to football games. I pour into my kids. I help people meet others, you know, someone who just moved in who has two kids who play baseball and they're sad that they moved. I help them meet other people who play baseball who are their age. I connect them. I connect people. And so you can't do that if you don't know your people. No, let me just ask you this, Kip, because it's a fine line. And I, I, can, I, I can sense love, caring, and, and genuine, you know, authenticity coming from you. Yeah. But there's a lot of trainers that say, oh, you got to use relationship techniques to try to sell people stuff, which I'm against. You see what I mean? So, yep. so how do we keep it real? but still show love and not use love as a tool to go sell people a bunch of stuff. Okay, can I answer because that one? Have. Okay, what I would say is we take our program and as a result of our program and what we do, we sell homes. Yeah. And ultimately, it's it's the separation. So Paige isn't the one selling the homes. We have ep separate sales representatives that are the ones selling the homes. Paige is the one creating the community, creating the relationships. And because of that organic feel of our communities, people love it. And so they want to buy. People, when they, they come, they say, Harvest is like the Truman Show, but real life. Um, and you can't fake, you can't fake love. You can't fake being authentic. So if you don't have someone who's not authentic, who doesn't love people, not going to work uh, because people will see through a sales. They'll see through like, oh, she's just an employee trying to get me to live here. So it can't be about that. I get zero commission too. So I love to tell prospects when they come in. I'm like, I sound like I'm pitching because I'm really excited. I've been there five years. And I'm like, just so you know, I get zero commission if you live here. <laughs> I get zero. So I drive a Toyota Corolla outside. Like, I am not, you know, I, I don't. I don't get anything. But, and also say my Facebook page. If you go look at a lot of uh, Facebook pages. How do we, how do we connect? Where is it? Uh, Harvest by Hillwood. Um, you will see it's authentic and real. It's real. It's my neighbors. It's pictures of real people doing real things. It's not salesy. I never say, hey, come look at this home or come buy this. It's all about the events in life and culture. So people have a good feeling. I've, I've sold homes on, on, the, on social media. People's like, I followed you for six months, and I, I had to live there. Well, and let me say one more thing. The developer, which is Hillwood Communities, yeah. they have invested a lot of money into the lifestyle program because they have seen the results, and they know what it does. Really quick on that. So a lot of developers will do lifestyle type things and then once the community is sold out and the developer leaves and it turns over to homeowners that program goes away because homeowner HOA dues can't sustain that kind of program my program is 100% sustainable we've been uh, operational on the HOA budget for three years now we have not been supplemented by the developer um, and that's because of the types of things we do sponsorships with the with local businesses um, and that's I mean that's sustainable so when the developer leaves this community will stay the the program will stay in the pudding, no right switch. here. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't know what else to say. What? What, what do you? Anything else to? That's Hillwood. it. Would you like to wrap things well, up? Well, that's <laughs> it. That's what we do at Hillwood Communities. We create community, and Harvest is just one of the many ways that we have done that. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for caring. Thanks. Here at the 2020 Nationals, it's been an awesome show. What does it mean? I just like just the excitement of being here. What does that mean for you? I can't stop shaking. <laughs> um, I'm normally very confident, and I'm like, I'm shaking. It's just, it's a huge deal because it means there's a, there's a lot of places out there and a lot of great communities, and to be recognized as the best, I mean, that's just very humbling, and it's huge. So. It's amazing. Yeah. It's We're gonna, when we get this video, we want you to share it on your Facebook to let everybody know how awesome you are. And just because it's not just you, it's the team. Yes, right? absolutely. You can't do it by myself. Want to see you next year at the Nationals. Woo! Woo!
we'll be back. <laughs> Visit thenationals.com.